Hey, this week at Coffee and Tools, I got a new one. I picked up a toolbox at a yard sale. She's pretty rough, but uh, she's, uh, that's an old uh, Kennedy Model 520, and it's really a machinist toolbox. They're kind of pricey. Uh, part of the reason, of course, is all the drawers are uh, have a felt lining, which has always been kind of nice, but it's a machinist toolbox. So it's kind of specialized in, in trade. So it's, it's, it's something that I've always had on my list of, you know, I'd like to have one because I do know I have a lathe and I have some taps and dies and some machinist type uh, tooling. And it was, I thought it'd be nice to have the toolbox to go with it, but I have just, you know, avoided the price. And this thing came up at a yard sale for $10. And it wasn't great, but it was like, it's in pretty raunchy shape. So we're gonna try to uh, clean it up and I guess uh, scuff up the uh, rust a little bit here on it and just see if we can't paint it up and make it look back to half decent. <laughs> it did include uh, whatever was inside of it. Uh, the, uh, whoever owned it wasn't around at the time, so. But uh, I guess for $10, uh, you can't say no. There's not a lot here. There's, there's screws and stuff. Well, here, come on over and take a look at this mess. In the top drawer, we have some pipe cutting, uh, and we also have the uh, old flare fittings and stuff like that. Some pop rivets, uh, some screws, whatever. And really looking through the drawers, was there anything too exciting? There's some knives, and there's also some electrical connectors, which uh, these things actually cost a little bit of money if you add them up. So, you know, for the $10, I really wasn't worried about what was in the toolbox. But each drawer, as you can see, there's some drill bits and... Uh, some again some knife uh, wow that's a heavy piece of junk I think the first thing I have to do is get all this stuff out of here and just throw it in a box or, or set it aside because I'm gonna go through all these electrical fittings and put them in with my electrical fittings because that way I I've, I've already got a nice toolbox or <clears throat> I've already got a nice cabinet that's full of these things and so adding these won't be a big deal it just means I have more of this drawer here, uh, not too exciting again, just some screws, some metal, sheet metal screws. Uh, wow, little lag bolt thing going on. Got some odds and ends of, it might have even been uh, hydraulic fittings or something. I, I don't know what this uh, fellow was doing. And then of course the nasty little screwdrivers. I guess the only, uh, this is, uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff here. This is uh, a top dead center piece for uh, doing a motor. So that's kind of a, an interesting item. He's got two different ones here. So that's interesting. Some uh, easy out for backing a nut out of something. And an old run round uh, grinding stone off of something. And this looks like, uh, yeah, off a piece of furniture, I guess, or something. A little bit of, no, there's two of them in here. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything in here. There's also a nice set of uh, Allen keys. I never liked this particular type of uh, Allen key situation, but uh, yeah, Sam, this guy had it. And on this top box, we've got a bunch of little, those little mini Craftsman wrenches that used to be sold as like ignition wrenches or something. Oh, a couple of nice chisels, some punches. You know, like I said, uh, generally for yard sale, you can find some pretty cool stuff. He's got all brass fittings in the top here this stuff's expensive but that's not really the point because really I just want the toolbox I really didn't care what was in it apparently there's quite a bit of stuff in it so I'm gonna empty all this out and then see if we can I guess we'll uh, not sure how to deal with this whether to scuff it with uh, a 3m pad or something and then just paint to try to get rid of most of this rust because some of this rust is so bad that uh, yeah she's she's pretty uh, She's pretty rough, but I think if we clean her all up, uh, empty it, you take the air hose, maybe blow everything out real good, and then scuff this up and put some paint on her, it'll look all right. Now, the other thing, of course, is uh, the lid doesn't close right. That's, you know, that's, that's a given. That's nothing new, right? But the uh, finish, that's another thing I want to take a look at and see if I can find a, a half-decent paint finish that will bring back the original kind of uh, old machinist toolbox look or whatever to the uh, the Kennedy. It, this really right now looks like Battleship Gray, but I'm not sure what they came, uh, what the original paint was. Uh, I'll 
thought it was more of a speckle or a, a flake kind of look to the paint and really I can't see much of that in here but anyways this is what we're going to do today yeah normally uh, I don't know where, where to even start I guess empty, the, empty this top he had uh, he was really good with uh, it's like uh, duct tape and uh, some board. In case uh, anybody else has got a Kennedy, let's try to figure out how to get the drawers out of the way so they can fix the toolbox up a little bit. Uh, let's just do one here. There's a little, open this one up, can you see well? There's a little black strap, like a plastic strap right here. If you pull the strap with your uh, fingernail, that'll release it. So just pull the strap out on both sides. Now, pulling at the front, there's a little, like a little stop plug right here at the very front. When you pull that out, that'll allow you to release the drawer. I'll get all these drawers out of here, and then like I said, I'll take an air hose, spray it, and then I'll see if I, uh, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna sand or just throw this thing in the sand blaster and, uh, you know, hit it. <laughs> and just see if we can clean it up in general. Uh, won't do the drawers with sand blasting or anything, but I'm thinking if I sand these, or even scuff these a little bit and put some fresh paint on them. This should look, they should look okay because the knobs and everything are good. And I really don't want to <clears throat> destroy all the finish of this uh, particular project here. But yeah, when we get back. Looks like that's about as far as we're going to get uh, today with this. I've got to wire brush it up quite a bit yet, and then uh, I'm going to paint this, and uh, we'll show it to you when it's all said and done. So there it is. Uh, this morning I took it out, hand sanded it for a little bit, and uh, just went over it real quick. Now, the product is uh, this one here from <laughs> Walmart. Yeah, Wally World. <laughs> and it's a uh, forged hammered paint it's a gray uh, you can see that and it gives it the toolbox finish that I'm looking for for this uh, the other thing I did uh, off camera whatever was I uh, put lithium grease in all the slides so all the drawers kind of slide nice and smooth now open and close cleaned out still a little bit rough around the edges uh, this now uh, now works and closes the way it's supposed to so I had straightened the top out on her and in just general, it's not super pretty like a show car thing or something, but it looks decent enough to go on the shelf for me. I can put my machinist tools in here, and for $10 uh, <clears throat> plus uh, almost, uh, I think it was almost $8 for the paint. <laughs> so, yeah, it does, yeah, I hate math sometimes just for that reason, but, and I got a little bit of paint left over. <laughs> cool. So I can touch up a little bit yet if I see anything else I don't like. But basically, I'm, I'm pretty much happy with that. It, it doesn't have to be, you know, a glitzy looking car thing or finish, whatever. I'm just trying to get, it's a toolbox, man. You know, come on. <laughs> it's just a toolbox at the end of the day. It holds my tools, you know. But the uh, finish I'm happy with and everything works great now. And I guess we can put this guy back into service. But it'll have machinist tools in it, not that pile of whatever was in there some that I'm still looking at and scratching my head is like what is that but yeah so anyways thank you for watching coffee and tools and uh, this week I've got I've got a carport that I'm almost finished putting up I've been doing it for eight nine days now and a lot of rain and other things have shut it down the job site over and over again but the carport is coming it's, it's getting there also have some 3d print project stuff coming on that's uh, been delayed and an invention that uh, I wanted to show you guys, something I came up with for the car, 
off a 3D printer. And also, uh, what was the other thing? Yeah, and the other one was uh, we'll also have a tool that uh, we'll be doing a tool review on that came from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's the 14 inch metal cutting saw. And there is just dozens of other projects and tools, whatever I want to get into with this. But Oh, and a giveaway. We have a, another a giveaway, a jet pack, and it's uh, by Verizon. Well, I'll get into the details with that uh, once I uh, locate it. Right now, we're having a problem with finding it, and we're looking for a charge cable for it, and we don't seem to have one. I do know that it came in without a charge cable, but I thought we had found something, but evidently not. Anyways, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools, and yep, there it is, complete.